Welcome back to Midco Sports Magazine. Well, there was a time in the United States when women were not necessarily encouraged to go out and to hunt and to fish. But in the late 70s in Minnesota, there was a club that popped up that was started by women, had women only as members, and not just women, but fisher women. Dan Aspen has the story of the oldest women's anglers association in the country. There's nothing like a nice afternoon on the lake. Even with the overcast sky, the anglers here on Lake Coronas today are happy to be spending the weekend away from it all. To the casual observer, this is just another weekend fishing tournament in Minnesota. But the history behind this particular tournament makes it something more. Take a look at the anglers. Do you notice something they have in common? They're all women. Some are mothers and daughters, aunts and grandmothers, some lifelong friends and others total strangers. For the veteran anglers competing today, those like Julie Lane, there are memories of a time when a woman was out of place driving a boat and casting a line. It was a time when women were expected at home, cooking meals and cleaning the household. And even though these memories remind Julie of a time when society labeled her love of angling as being out of place, she's always felt at home on the water. My father's always owned his own business, so if there was any time with dad, the boat was a lot of fun. Um, my brother fished a lot, so actually as a girl in those days, I got left behind quite a bit. And women backing a boat into the water or driving a boat is not heard of in those days. As she grew up, Julie met more and more women who were just like her, ignoring the notion that hunting and fishing were exclusively male activities. In 1977, in Julie's home state of Minnesota, a fishing club just for women was incorporated. That same club, the Women Anglers of Minnesota, is now the oldest women's fishing club in the United States. And while the attitudes about women on the water have changed, it isn't uncommon for a few mental stragglers to make things a bit awkward. Even today when I was fishing with the slip bobber, there was four other boats around us and they were all guys and they were like, well what are you fishing for? Well how much money do you, can you win and how long are you going to fish and do you ever catch a fish? And <laughs> you know, you get it constantly. Guys at a landing still look at us and like, that woman's going to back the boat in? You know, they, but we do a lot of seminars on backing in boats. But. Today, the Women Anglers of Minnesota, also known as WAM, are hosting their annual tournament. Julie's been involved with the club for 18 years and is in her second year as club president. We're pretty proud that it has sustained itself, that we have sustained 100 to 150 members, and that we're still going strong. It, we're very surprised how sponsors are very willing because we are an all-woman tournament because women are one of the fastest growing areas of hunting or fishing. Women are buying more fishing licenses than ever before so they know that women are getting into the sport. For a mere $15 a year a woman can join WAM and have full access to all of its benefits. There's a membership website, a quarterly newsletter and of course entry to the annual tournament. And even though the competition is friendly, prize money is serious. The grand prize at this year's event is $2,000. While Julie enjoys the camaraderie and socializing that come with the annual tournament, she's most proud of the club's mission, which she says is more than a women's club. And, believe it or not, it involves cooking and cleaning. A lot of us are in the outlying area of the state, so we have our own um, kids function in our area. I take about 20 to 25 kids fishing, ice fishing and summer fishing every year. Take them out on the water, uh, we, I get pontoons, we take them out on the water, we catch pan fish, then they watch me clean a fish, then we actually cook the fish right there on the lake and they eat the fish. Uh, we give away rods and reels to the kids that don't actually have a rod and reel. Thanks to WAM, young anglers in Minnesota will have plenty of exposure to the outdoors, regardless of their gender. While the challenges facing the club today are different than what they were when Julie Lane was growing up, her response to them is sure to be the same. When you make Julie Lane the exception, 
she'll respond by doing something exceptional. For me, I think that's the legacy of women anglers, is how many kids we can touch and how many kids we can help to learn to fish. And we're joined by Dan Aspen, and Dan, you said part of Julie's job as the president is to keep this thing going for future generations, right? How does she, how does she want to go about doing that? Right. Well, it's really popular for, for mother-daughter combinations to come out, and it's a lot of fun for, you know, mom, mom-daughter bonding and all that type of thing. Yeah. And we, we met a couple mother-daughter combinations. Uh, one woman had five of her daughters with her, so that was really neat. But Julie wants to focus also on the girls who've never been fishing before. Uh, she wants to really kind of get girls out there. They had 14 new girls this year, never been fishing before, and she really wants those people to take their experiences back to their family and friends and get more people incorporated that way. All right, cool. Nice job. Dan Aspen, everybody. And when we come back, we'll take you to Rapid City for the story on a woman and her racehorse who faced a terrifying tragedy a year ago, but are back on the track and better than ever.